friends. It's great to have you with us today. I hope that you're having a wonderful Tuesday morning. Thank you for tuning in and watching Tag Your It. It's another 21 tag question and this tag is going to be going out to several YouTubers of mine, several fellow friends. So let's get started with the 21 questions. Let's head on over to my email. One, has keto helped you with your health conditions if you had any previously? Well, yes, it has. I had polycystic ovary syndrome. Uh, I was never regular with my cycles, always in unbearable pain. I was just struggling so badly with hormonal imbalances and it had fixed all that. Roughly around the three-month mark, I noticed that I was becoming regular with my cycles. The overbearing pain went away. I still do have cramps, but um, everything had fixed itself with my hormonal imbalances. I had IBS, which I no longer have anymore. I had acid reflux, which I no longer have anymore. I can actually enjoy salami and not actually have that regurgitation with my food it was good so it was pretty bad uh depression yes it totally helped my depression and anxiety too i have not had any real breakdowns or meltdowns in well about two years so and no uh medication for about two years too so previously before it was getting better before keto, but way, way, way better. So that is excellent. Two, do I take supplements? If so, what do I take? I take magnesium. I take magnesium citrate. I take two a day, one in the morning and one at night with a glass of water. I take collagen twice a day. I take collagen peptides in my coffee. Uh, which is sports research, and it's just one scoop, mix it in, excellent. I take potassium, 90 milligrams of potassium. Uh, I take vitamin D3. And, yeah, basically a multivitamin as, as well, a woman's multivitamin or men's multivitamin if you're a man, um, and it has iron, extra iron in it because I was a little deficient in iron, before in the past. So number three, have you lost your hair doing keto? Oh my gosh, yes. I had lost my hair in clumps when I was taking a shower. I'd run my hands through my hair and big, big clumps of hair would come out. Now I've got regrowth up the top here and um, it's coming back thicker and fuller, which is great. I, I normally have thick hair anyway. So uh, what helped that was the collagen peptides that I put in my morning coffee every morning. Um, the the other collagen that I was taking, the collagen pills, was helping with my skin and my nails, but not so much. My hair. Yes, I had been losing hair, but I no longer am losing hair anymore, and I believe it's due to those collagen peptides that I've been taking for roughly about a month now. Do you drink or eat protein bars or shakes? Yes, occasionally I will drink a Premier Protein Shake in a pinch. And protein bars I used to, but not so much anymore. The ones that I used to have were the Atkins bars and the Quest bars, but not so much anymore because I came from a background where I was addicted to sugar and um, that can be a trigger for me, so I try and stay away from those foods. Four, do I have loose skin? Yes, I have loose skin. I have loose skin on my arms, my upper arms, uh, the flabby part, the fat wings, people call it. I have loose skin between my thighs. I have loose skin um, near my underbelly. I have loose skin on my my uh, my chest area and I have some loose skin on my fingers as well and I'm sure I probably have loose skin in parts of my neck too if I pull it but um, 
I would rather have loose skin over high blood pressure, diabetes, neuropathy, depression, anxiety. I would rather have loose skin and, you know, that will all fix itself through fasting, through um, all things fasting, basically. So I'm not concerned about the loose skin. I would rather have the loose skin over what I just mentioned before. What's my favorite keto sweetener? Well, I'd have to say I have been using Trivia and I like the taste. I've tried many other sweeteners which I haven't liked. The monk, monk fruit just didn't have any kind of taste. The uh, stevia extract sort of had a, a bitter after bitter aftertaste. Same with the Splendor. So I use a lot of Trivia. Um, if I am going to be using like a powdered kind, it would definitely be Swerve. Swerve is one of the best ones that you can get from Amazon.com um, for baking. I don't do a whole lot of baking, but definitely that is the one that I use if I do make, say, cookies or anything like that because you don't want to taste the granule texture. You want to have a nice kind of... Uh, smooth texture and what's my favorite keto baked goods well it's funny we were just talking about that my favorite keto baked goods would have to be the three ingredient peanut butter cookies with the all natural peanut butter uh, basically it's just all natural peanut butter one egg and your trivia or sweetener of your choice that would that would work well um and my husband likes them too so that's a bonus and they get eaten pretty much not straight away but within a few days uh you can keep them for a couple of days i also like the three ingredient fathead uh bagels as well we have them with sesame seed and poppy seed we love them we make them gosh i think well sometimes it was weekly sometimes every like two weeks but now that I'm actually on a bacon challenge we're not having the fat head dough because I'm sticking to what I can eat with the bacon challenge so after the bacon challenge it'll be bagels we love bagels and you can pretty much put everything and anything that's keto friendly on them so you can have them toasted you can have them fresh um next one did i have keto flu yes at the start i felt very sluggish very fatigued um but then once i got my electrolytes in my keto aid in and once i got the hang of the the way to eat ketogenically with my macros once i had my macros all set and just having the pink himalayan salt I reckon I only had keto flu for about a week. Number nine, have I had keto rash? No, I haven't had keto rash, but I have known plenty of people in my group that have had keto rash. And what keto rash is, is it's when you lower your carbs really, really low. And there are several things that you can do for it. Upping your carbs would be probably the best kind of thing to do if you're say having below 10 and you're not meeting your 20 20 net carbs or your 20 total carbs it's probably best to not lower your carbs so much because that's when your hair can fall out as well so make sure that you keep to those 20 or around roughly around 20 net or total um, with the keto rash you can also have Benadryl and um, things for the itching, but basically it will level out over about a week or so. It is pretty uncomfortable. My mum actually had it and that's what she did. So uh, that helped for her. Number 10, do I test my ketones? No, would you believe I've never tested. I've never done urine tests. I've never done breathalyzer tests and I've never tested my blood glucose. Why? Because I know how I feel I know that I'm in ketosis one because I have energy two I have more 
focus. Three, I am losing weight. That is part of it. If you're losing weight, you know that you've got to be in ketosis. And a, a lot with the taste that you have in your mouth and your breath as well, you can tell several ways that you're in ketosis without testing. I just don't personally want to be testing one because a lot of the testing methods are not accurate, especially the urine strips. Two, I don't like checking my blood glucose or uh, pricking myself. Um, so that doesn't work. Breathalyzers, I just... I just don't want to be spending my money on machines and things when I could be spending it on ketogenic food. So, no, I don't test. And I've lost 85 pounds now, so I um, I feel like there's no need for me to be testing. I don't have diabetes or RA or anything like that, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, number 11. What would you tell someone just starting keto? That it will be the best decision that you can ever make. You might find it a struggle at first, but if you get help and support like I have, and I help many people through my keto journey, I have over 870 members in my keto journey group. If you would like to join, you can join from YouTube. If you go to my banner, there is a Facebook tab and if you click that, it'll bring you to our community. We're there to support, encourage, and motivate each other. And I will just say this, that you will feel so great. Your diseases that you have, it will improve. It can reverse. And even though you're going to be giving up those carbs, you're going to have good carbs. And you're just like, once you're fat adapted, then you're not going to feel hungry. You're going to see the benefits of losing weight, the benefits of fighting those diseases. Do we feed those diseases or do we heal those diseases? So all around keto works. It, it just, it's, it's amazing how many people that I see that are off their diabetic medication and how many people don't suffer with depression or anxiety anymore. And the one and the one thing that I mentioned, all of my health conditions that I had have either gone or are improving. So how can you say no to your health? Your health is the most important thing that you have. And if you don't have your health, then what do you have? And you'll have a whole better quality of life too. You'll be able to do so many things that you've never done before and you will, you just won't regret it. I can promise you that. So number 12, am I strict or lazy? I would say I can be a bit of both. I can be strict with my macros and tracking. I can be strict, but sometimes lazy too when it comes to cooking, when I don't feel very good or when we haven't been to the store in a while because my husband is actually disabled and the only one driving in our house at the moment so we might have little or little food around so I just need to make whatever we've got whatever ingredients we've got I just need to make so we, we do have processed and frozen foods from time to time so I would say that part is a lazy a lazy keto and if we do go out anywhere we'll have like McDonald's with no bun water pounders without no bun and no ketchup, um, things like that. But pretty much I have been strict with myself. I've set myself boundaries, especially with the baked goods and the sweets. We don't have a whole lot of that. I don't cook um, so much sweets because that's a real trigger food for me. Sugar is real trigger food because I was a sugar addict and my husband is type 2 diabetic. So we try and keep the sweets away. So I would say, uh, yeah, I would say I'm a bit of both, really. Um, do I eat organic foods? Yes, I do. If I can afford it, um, I go to Aldi's. So when we go to Aldi's, we get organic uh, vegetables and organic meats and things like that. It's just more affordable. 
but I don't eat organic all the time. Uh, I just feel that organic really has helped my my diseases, especially with my IBS. I noticed that once I switched over to I organic meat, especially the red organic meat, I was doing so much better. So um, I try and stick with organic foods when I can, not all the time, but when I can afford it within my budget. Number 14, how much weight have you lost and in what amount of time? I have lost 85 pounds going Going into my 15th month, I have been a slower loser, but I'm I'm happy that it has been slow because I was in a, a bit of a stall for three months, but now I'm catching up. And I recently just hit my 80-pound mark in the month of April. So now's May. I've lost another five pounds during the bacon fast. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I'm doing really well. At my own pace a lot of people can lose up to a hundred pounds in a year and that's great but my body has just been a little bit slower so I'm happy with that number 15 what's my favorite restaurants to go to I love to go to Longhorn my husband and I just love steakhouses so that would be pretty much number one on our list it we have one in wanted to make plans to go to Red Lobster because we love seafood as well. So that's kind of our wanting to go to restaurant, but definitely we go to Longhorn a lot and they are, they are great there. The steak is always, I never have to send it back. It's cooked to, to my liking. I love the seasoning and the staff, the staff at our local uh, Longhorn are great so we love longhorn number 16 what do i order when i go out usually it's a steak with a side of broccoli or it's usually a salad with romaine lettuce i take out the croutons um we also do go to cracker barrel so i have their chicken tenderloins with broccoli on the side um with some butter some clarified butter and I'll just have a diet soda. Usually it's a diet Pepsi or a diet Coke. Uh, number 17, do I eat fast foods? I, at the start, I was having like McDonald's and Wendy's and stuff. But because we're not really out a whole lot, we kind of eat at home. So when we do go out, no, I mean, we don't really go to fast food restaurants um, I tend to just wait until I get home because I want to know what I'm putting in my body. I want to know the macros, uh, even though you can count. But my favourite fast food low-carb restaurant would definitely have to be Wendy's by far. I love their salads and they're just so, they're so nice about it. They don't judge you about like not being able to have a bun um and not having croutons they don't look at you weirdly like some places do so definitely i suggest if you haven't been to wendy's your local wendy's get their salad it is amazing do i number 18 do i drink sodas yes i drink sodas i drink diet pepsi and i did i drink diet right from walmart but I've been not so much having sodas lately. I've been drinking more of my electrolyte, my electrolytes and the the flavored waters as well. I've been drinking those and just water and coffee and hot tea. So I'm trying to keep away from sodas. I used to be a huge soda drinker. So even though they're diet, I kind of, try to stick to maybe if I'm going to have one one or two a day so number 19 do I measure yes I measure I measure my bust I measure my waist I measure my thigh I measure my butt I measure my calves I measure my arms so yes I measure number 20 other than YouTube what other social media do I have I have a Facebook group which is called My Keto Journey and if you would like to join from YouTube, it 
can be found, it can be found in my banner above. There is a Facebook tab. Uh, I also link my Facebook group in the description box below. We would love to have you. We're all there to support each other. I have about 10 admin team who are there to answer any of your questions. We have recipe ideas. We have tips and tricks. I have a meal plan that comes out every Friday free of charge. I'm like a keto coach, but I do everything free. I It's just my aim to and my focus to help others who have struggled with their weight. And I've seen so many beautiful transformations. I've seen so many changes in my members' lives and they're able to do things that they've never done before. So yes, please feel free to join my group. It will be great to uh, see you there and introduce yourself. We would love to get to know you. Number 21, do I have a supportive doctor? Yes, I have two supportive doctors. One in Australia who's known me for 30 years um, when I was five and she was amazed by how much weight I had dropped and just that I was a totally different, happier person uh, because she'd seen me struggle with my depression and anxiety and battled with my weight all my life. When I was eight, that's when I started um, battling with my weight. And my doctor here in America was very pleased. Uh, she said that I had lost a significant amount of weight. So I was happy to hear how she felt about it all. And she actually forgot who I was. So I must look really different to what I did before. So now I'm going to tag some people. It is going to be a little bit more with the names than my first tag. So I want to tag Keto in the UK, Ginger, uh, CJ's Keto Kitchen, Fat Girl No More, Nonna Grace, and Kathy's Crazy Life. So those are the YouTubers that I'm going to tag. I will place their YouTube link in the description below. If you would like to be in a tag, if you are a YouTuber and you would like to be in a tag you're it, please comment in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to put you in our next tag. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have gotten to know me a little bit more. This is a getting to know each other. I hope that you have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and keto on. Bye-bye.